Hey, Brandon. It was a pleasure speaking with you earlier today. Um, basically, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you a couple of tips that you can start imp implementing into your website so that you can get more customers and build up your online digital presence so people can notice you. And um, so you're probably asking me, like, why am I doing this and what's in it for me? Well, I have found that many business owners like yourself are so consumed with work that it's very hard to find time to better understand the internet and how it can benefit you. And I totally understand your criticism. So um, I have found that like one thing with this kind of with trying to better understand marketing and this kind of thing is it's you don't know who the expert is and who isn't. So in this video, I'm just going to be showing you uh, what I do on the back end, just kind of like a surface surface level idea, just so you can better understand uh, how it all works. And I'm going to be contrasting your um, website with your competitor's website and a couple of things that you can start doing better. Now you can take this information that I give to you and you can implement them however you wish, um, which I'm totally cool with. However, if you'd like to learn more, all you have to do is just give me a call. Okay. So I'm just going to jump right on in here. I love the logo. Okay. <laughs> That's a really cool logo. Um, looks like you, you guys are, are pretty set here uh, with a basic, good web, basic website. Um, here, over here, we have your competitor's web, website. It's Davy Proven Solutions for a Growing World. These guys have a lot of content on their page. Um, as you can see here, and you see how it like lights up and everything. They have a video on like what to expect from an arborist uh, consultation, and they just have a couple options for their people. One thing that's pretty cool is this right here, where you can capture a customer's email or phone number. So if they're not ready to pull the trigger yet, they will. You can you have their information for the future. So those are a couple things that are pretty cool about uh, your competitor's website. Um, right here is a tool I use. It's called Arifs. We're just going to co cover, go, come over uh, three, three different things. So Arifs and Google, they are both business partners. Google has a trawler that goes around to each individual website and look, looking for certain things. And within those certain things, it uh, Google actually reports those things to Arifs. And Arifs just displays all the analytical stuff that they find. So right here we can see Davy.com. This is your competitor's website, and we have uh, backlinks, referring domains, and organic keywords. Um, so we're just going to start from this side over, okay? So what are organic keywords? So what Google does, they like to they like to look at how much content is on a website, because um, the the reason why is because it actually shows Google that you know what you know, and you're able to make help your customers make a more informed decision. And so it's a really trust uh, trust factor that uh, Google is looking for. So you can see here that your competitor has 25,000 keywords that are uh, people are looking for whenever they're looking for a certain service. And here's yours. I just took uh, your company, well, your domain right here, Apex Family Tree Service. I think this is you guys. And I just plugged it in, and this is what it came up with. Okay. So I can see here that it only has two organic keywords. Um, and next is going to be the referring domains. What's a referring domain? So a referring domain is a domain or a website that's quote unquote referring you. The reason why that's important is it shows the reputability of your company because you didn't just like come out of the woods one day and say, hey, I'm going to cut trees. Uh, what these guys, what these guys do is their websites that uh, say that you're a reputable company. Things like Yelp, like whenever you put your company on Yelp or Facebook or yellow pages, all those different things. And so we can see here that you guys don't really have any referring domains. Um, your competitor, these guys have 3.6 thousand referring domains. So these guys are considered very, very reputable. Right here I can click on uh, that link and I can look at all the different ones that uh, your competitor is using. Now you can um, actually go through these and set up your own account. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes um, each. And uh, some of them do cost money, which I'm just foreclosing that to you. So uh, all, all these different websites are actually referring this company and building up that trust factor. And so um, that's the second thing. So we have organic keywords. We have referring domains. And the next thing is backlinks. What's a backlink? So uh, backlink are these different things right here, these different drop dropdowns. Uh, we also have these right here, like how my uh, course search changes. They also have uh, these different links I can click on right here, this website, well, this video, 
all these different things, those are considered backlinks. Backlinks essentially build up the internal structure of a website so that customers can find the service that they're looking for. So uh, that's that's why that's pretty important. So again, just a good back good overview is here's the organic. You have you guys have two organic keywords. Yeah, uh, you have referring domains and you have backlinks, and all those things contribute to organic traffic and the value of that traffic. So you can see here your competitor has 151,000 people every single month who are looking for their services, and that's the estimated value that that's worth. Okay. So I hope you found this information uh, valuable. Again, you can take this information and you can do whatever you wish with it. You can grow your website, you know, on your own terms, which I'm totally cool with. However, if you have to, if you have a couple questions for me, or if you'd just like to learn more, you can just give me a call and let me know. My name is Brandon. Uh, you can give me a call at 704-476-6223. Thank you for your time.